What's up everybody, Do right back at it again with another video. So in case you didn't know, I get quite a bit of games from a bunch of random indie developers to show off and try out, and that is basically what's going to be happening today. The name of the game that we're going to be trying out today is Express Lane. Express Lane is a 32 player multiplayer first person shooter. You and your friends team up to destroy enemy team respawn points while defending your own. The map is built from randomly selected floating islands connected by Express Lanes that players can fly through. Last team standing wins. So I gotta be honest. Based on gameplay trailers alone, the game's appearance looks like trash. You have to play as that freaky looking thing? I guess so. I don't know if I'm okay. Uh, that thing is what stares at you through your window in the middle of the night. And it also looks like a battle royale, which if you follow the channel, then you'd already know my stance on battle royales. But in case you don't, I am definitely not a big fan of them. So going into this game, I had very low expectations. There's a store? It's free to play. Of course there is. Exquisite. Rare. That's mm. rare? Rarely worn, more like it. Hey, oh. This is the perfect one. Uncommon <laughs> clown costume. <laughs> Only if you get clown shoe noises. Wait, hold up. Is that Shrek? No, it's an ogre. It's Shrek's an ogre, you genius. You don't know that. They have layers. <laughs> Onions have layers. <laughs> <laughs> Simp coin. Fifty dollars? Fifty dollars? It's okay, it's the currency. Is this game even worth that? Like, I don't even know. Oh boy. So I took a buddy with me to go try out the game, and uh, well, the gameplay and gunplay is jank. Man, PUBG looks really different. Really does. Oh my god, my sensitivity. Why is this guy not working? What the f I have several questions. But it's serviceable. Like, you can still shoot people, reload the weapon, like, I guess the job done, pick up stuff, and it really does play like a battle royale in a lot of ways. So at this point, you're probably thinking to yourself, Durag, why are you even covering this game? Like, you don't seem to like it. And while that is true, it's definitely not a game that I would pick up again, but if there was anything that was redeeming about this game, it is its unique take on the battle royale genre. It does something that I haven't seen a battle royale do. I was actually surprised at how well this works and how fun it could actually be. And I thought this was pretty interesting interesting enough to make a video about it because i think that battle royales in general are just kind of like a one-trick pony and maybe this just might shake it up a bit but we'll see so what did they do well they have these things that are called incubators if you don't place your team respawn set a point to oh oh that's what that orb is all right cool oh i have a respawn point i guess now you gotta make sure it has space it needs space there it is ah uh... Get no scoped. Get no scoped. I picked up your gun. Oh, this that's is... an interesting way to spawn in. Okay. okay. <laughs> Basically, what it is is your one and only spawn point that you and three of your friends or bots keep spawning from until an enemy team takes them out. You can place them pretty much almost anywhere on the map, aside from like the main area. It's your one and only spawn. So if you lose it, you won't immediately die, but you only have like one life left and that's it. You'll keep spawning so long as your incubator is still up and the enemy team can't just like blow it up. No, the way that they get rid of it is by killing you or one of your friends and picking up their Fagoozle key. What? Fagoozle key? Fagoozle key? <laughs> What does that even mean? I don't know. When you pick up the Fagoozle key, the key will show the player where your spawn is. If you can manage to get to that player's incubator, you can insert the Fagoozle key into his incubator and destroy his spawn point. The best way to stop somebody that has your key is by simply killing him. The moment you kill him, he loses the key and he can't come back on spawn. And that's kind of like the game loop by using the express lanes, which is like giant wind tunnels that are holding up these islands. Do I just jump off? Oh. What's that do? Oh, 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 I figured out what the glue does. It's armor. Okay, so I guess if you want to go somewhere, you have to just straight up hop off the map. Oh, oh god. How do I get up there? Okay, that's interesting. It's different, I'll give it that. Right. Ooh, this game's got dual render scopes. How come Harsh Doorstop doesn't have them? I don't know. See, that's what I mean. These these kinds of scopes are so cool. Are you in the city? Are... I'm in a city, but I see several cities. Okay, that's actually kind of cool, not gonna lie. You could constantly pick up things that are laid out across the world, whether it's like stuff that guards your incubator. So that's a spawn camp if I've ever seen it. You could just spawn camp your freaking incubators. Imagine that. I guess that's why you're supposed to set up traps and stuff. I put 
mines they're mine. Like barricades, cannons, landmines, and stuff like that. I think that's actually kind of cool. It definitely puts a spin on the battle royale genre. So I'm just gonna do a gameplay video for the rest of this video. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Who's team am I on? Oh! That was a great fing spawn, not gonna lie. Oh, am I just dead? This guy's just gonna keep coming or what? How the f can I place this? I don't know, but are these guys just gonna keep coming? Or is there like an actual set limit here? Ah! Don't ever take me alive! Oh my god, this gun is so atrocious! Um, shoot. Shoot. Okay. Oh man, I found the armor. Nice. I'm gonna get venture out now. I don't think loot respawns either. I don't know, boxes of my own are respawning. Oh, I'm out of ammo. I got their Fagoozle key. Oh man, the Fagoozle key. Well, I found someone's respawn point. I'm gonna trap it. I'm guessing that's your Fagoozle. Which one? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I think. Hold on. No, this is red, guys. Shit. I got someone else's key. Not the right key. Oh, found another one. And another one. Blood teams. Oh, I think I just eliminated someone. Oh, he's got them. He's got a gun. Oh. <laughs> Just eliminate one of the guys. Yeah. Oh, so when you pick up a key, it actually gives you a general location of their, of their base. Yeah. Oh, speaking of which, just found it. All right. I think the thing that I like about this is that it's actually a lot longer than than most of these games normally are. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of speed. Man, if you launch off of a trampoline before you fly, you get a massive boost in speed. I'm really digging this Uzi. I think it's probably my favorite gun. Oh. oh, I found you. No. Alright. Fuck. I've got your Fagoozle key. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna kick you in the nuts. And then you're gonna kick me in the Fagoozle? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna kick you in the Fagoozle. <laughs> you left your Fagoozle unguarded, Dre. Oh no! <laughs> Motherfucker. like that new Puss in Boots movie, you're on your last life. <laughs> Teams are left at this point. Uh, 
I'm not seeing that many. I, I killed a bunch of them, but it's coming a ghost town. What is the way to like get a new one? Do I have to like look for this? I don't know. Goose kunai? Sure. Why not? That's a massive spoon. Like this actually would be a really cool concept if uh, we had a bunch of you know like team versus team and we're just going around fucking up people's spawns and then win the game that way. Yeah, like 50 v 50. Two fagoozles. But like it could be like a team of four or team of two or Oh, I think I saw you. I can't tell if this sniper's got drop or not. Apparently, still have two teammates, I guess? You have teammates? Yeah, apparently, every team has at least four, I guess. Where are my teammates? I haven't seen them the whole match. The Goose Kahuna? Or K Kunai? 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 <laughs> Alright, you sound like a nine over there. <laughs> I ain't dying. Oh yeah, there's definitely drop. Holy crap. That bullet takes time to travel. That's you, I think. Maybe. Oh my god. Okay, the flying's kind of automatic, it seems like. If you're not careful when you're near the ledge, you might accidentally just fly off. Could not tell you. I mean, I just know when I want to fly, I just hop off the edge and start going. I thought you had to hold space bar, but I think it's automatic. Come on down here and fight me like a man, you bitch. Ow. You cleared the floor and shut. Oh! <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> you didn't even notice that I mined both the doors. I didn't hear it. Yeah, that's okay. It's like a 6 out of 10 game. The gunplay needs a lot of work. Gunplay needs a lot of work. Optimization. That's a, I think it's a neat idea, though. Like, the guns don't feel very good to shoot. The Uzi's probably the only one that felt good. The sniper just feels useless. I think it's mostly because the bullet takes too long to travel. It feels like the bullets are slower than the other guns. But maybe that's just me. Maybe. I shot at you, or at least I think you, at least 20 to 25 times, and not a single one of those shots landed. That's why I just opted to rush you with the Uzi. I didn't hear you place down those freaking things. I like I'm them surprised. All. That was loud. I didn't hear that shit at all. I thought you would immediately hear it and like turn and figure out like what the hell was that. I'm like, oh shit. I thought it'd be quiet. So are you good or? You got enough footage or do you want to go another? I think I got enough. Yeah, I'm ready to take a break. But I mean, I was actually surprised. It wasn't bad. No, I wouldn't say it's bad. It's definitely one of the more interesting games I've played. Presentation-wise, it's not that great, but I mean... No, it's hideous. Gameplay and, and ideas, that, that's actually pretty cool. Like, if you get, like, four squads together and, you know, you're trying to take out the other people's incubators and shit, that seems like a really cool concept to me. Ask him what the goose does. I don't know what the goose was supposed to do. It, it literally just, like, I spawned it, it looked at me, and then it looked away, it flew into a tree and then died. I was so confused. I could probably ask him right now, let's see. As someone who doesn't like Battle Royales, this actually intrigued me. It definitely needs work, though. The game definitely does need work, but man, that concept was pretty interesting. I like it.